Okay, uh... <laughs> now that's an ending. Alright then. Um... Alright, I'm pretty happy with that ending, because ending B was not cutting it for me, like, after all that. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, um... Make sense of the story. Okay, so... Um... Okay, sequel to the first clock tower. Uh, this game had no actual clock tower in it. As my first thing. Second one is that, okay, so then, if I remember correctly, from the first game, uh, there were like two twin boys that were like evil, Bobby and Dan. Um... This is what's confusing me, because Bobby was the one from the first, like, this little fat baby that was, like, chasing me from the first game. That was Bobby. Dan was this, uh, this, like, really, like, big purple, like, really ugly monster that I blew up, so... Unless I'm getting the names confused, then that really, I don't understand that. Like, how did he live? Then again, I don't know how, um, how Dan managed to live after I pushed him off a cliff, like, five times. But, uh, so basically this game, the story of this game was to get revenge on Jennifer for killing, um, his brother and mother, I suppose. I think that's the basic. Which is, uh, not very, not very complicated, just, you know, straightforward revenge plot thing. <laughs> uh, that's all I could really get out of this. Uh, it was, for a point and click game, it was pretty, it was pretty decent. Um... Yeah, it wasn't too bad. There is a high replay value with this because you do get to play as, um, you can play as another character and then there's like a whole bunch of things that you could change, um, decisions you can make. I know there's like a whole bunch of endings and I'm sort of a perfectionist when it comes to video games where I like I just want to complete everything but as far as with this game I'm not too driven to actually find everything so maybe when I'm bored I'll do that <laughs> but I'm pretty fine I'm pretty fine as it is right now so uh yeah thanks for um watching my first let's play of clock tower for the ps1 and this was blind and i hope you enjoyed it it wasn't that bad of a game um i'm not sure when this ends uh i could ramble on and on uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna do another let's play some games i was looking at was uh alone in the dark for the ps1 i think it's called alone in the dark the new nightmare and that looks pretty interesting. I've never, I don't even know anything about Alone in the Dark, so that's gonna, that'd be pretty blind. I wouldn't mind giving that a shot. I was also looking at uh, some Resident Evil games I could do, but like the old school ones, like uh, Resident Evil 2 or 3. I might do those too. I think I'll have a little, a little more fun with those. I mean, this wasn't that bad. It was just that. I don't like running around confused out of my mind. I just felt that that's what I was doing most of the game, just running around not knowing what to do and getting lost and being stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I might, might do one of those games until I could like buy proper equipment so I could do some games from um, actual consoles instead of uh, recording from emulators. Yeah. I'm still uh, trying to see what's the best equipment to buy for those. 
so yeah. Um, I think that's all I could really say. It's pretty epic back there. That was a really epic uh, last scene. Um, I think that's really all I can uh, say about this. It was uh, it was interesting for my first let's play. Um. So yeah, thanks for watching, this is Sabrina, and, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, only five? Well, it's better than four. I mean, I think I'm cool with that. Alright, I think that's really it. So, uh, can I, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, I guess if, uh, you like this one, or you want to see any of my other games, I'll probably do Alone in the Dark or some, one of the Resident Evil games for the PS1, uh, just check back at my, uh, at my channel for updates or whatever, if you want. Other than that, uh, that's really it, so thanks. Take care.